Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 127 in May. The big exciting thing about May, at least after May 5th, is that we're done with Wix 311. Woo! As always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't able to be with us here right now. Uh, I want to get in the agenda because, yay, Wix 3.11 released. I'm probably going to be like that the whole meeting. Yay! Um, Wix 3.14 and Wix 4, we need to put together a plan, talk about what we're doing there. People have started asking around, hey, what's the plan for Wix 4? When is it going to be done? All those kinds of good things. Um, and then, like always, we'll do a triage and cover any questions, comments at the end. Uh, I'm just going to put a spoiler alert. We're not going to come up with answers for a lot of this today, um, but we need to start really talking about it now that truly things are out of the way because Wix 3.11 released. Yay! <laughs> uh, four days ago, I guess, depending on how you count. It's like kind of, we got it, I think, out in the afternoon, so we're not quite exactly four days out. Um, and I ran these numbers last night, but we released on Cinco de Mayo. Yay! Thank you for everybody that did work. Um, Bob did an excellent job in the release notes, breaking down like many, 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 if not all of the bugs um, and features and all the other kinds of good stuff that went in. Um, so it's actually a really nice detailed list of things that are in Wix 3.11, if you're wondering if you should move from Wix 3.10. Um, we've had about 2,000 installs of the build tools in four days and we're running at like 98.5 success rate when you take out the cancels. So that's pretty awesome. I'm <laughs> really happy with where we're at. You know, onesies, twosies, failures otherwise. Uh, so I think feeling pretty good about Wix 3.11 done. Like, it's just out there, it's gone. Feedback on the RCs has been reasonable, uh, and it looks like we're continuing through 3.11. I am so happy about that. feels great. Um, and the other thing that was interesting that happened is, and I didn't write this down, but throughout the RCs and throughout Wix 311, the Visual Studio, the Wix Visual Studio extension for 2017, uh, for Visual Studio 2017, was a good uh, bit ahead of all of the others. I mean, not way ahead, but you know, a good bit ahead. And now Visual Studio 2015 has passed it within like four days in a big way. So I think that says that people have are moving to 3.11 because you know, Visual Studio 2015 is presumably where a lot of people are um, and in the stable world versus the 2017 people are more cutting edge. So that was pretty cool to see as well. Um, so uh, that split up of the tools across different targets of Visual Studio is providing an interesting data point already. All right, uh, that's 3.11, we're done. I really don't want to talk about 3.11 ever again. Yay. Rearview mirror. All right, let's talk about 3.14. We've talked about, at a high level, 3.14, what it's going to be, um, and this is where we're going. The purpose of 3.14 is to ease the migration to Wix 4. Major releases are uh, breaking, and so there are things that we can do in Wix 3.14 that if someone is on any version of Wix 3, can work their way to 3.14 and deal with, hopefully, a smaller set of breaking changes that are the harder things to do than switching over the namespaces of all of your code and stuff like that. So essentially, we don't want to have you doing all the migration in one big go from uh, from 3 to 4. You'll be able to go 3.14, you know, clean up some deprecated stuff that's been deprecated for a long time. We'll just keep you more and more clearer messages that this really truly is gone when you try to make the next step to 4. Um, and then when you want to go to 4, hopefully, uh, Wixcop and the conversion code and all that kind of stuff will take care of everything else for you, and there isn't much else you have to do to move from 3 to 4. Um, the interesting side effect of that is that 3.14 is not designed to be a build that you put in your build lab for a long time, right? It, it's a stepping is, stone. Exactly. It's designed to be a stepping stone, right? So you go to 3.14 with the intent that you're going to 4. Um, and thus, the timeline is about the same as Wix 4.0. So when Wix 4.0 comes out, Wix 3.14 will be done. Um, and I'm toying with the idea that if we do a Wix 4.1, you know, depending on how Wix 4 releases go, maybe we'll do a Wix 3.14.1 if there's something that helps you migrate from 3.14 to 4.1 directly or something like that. Um, or maybe we'll do a 3.14.1 if we find a set of things that are hard for people to migrate to four after the fact that we didn't catch. Maybe we'll do a 3.14, not one. But that's really like only, again, to help you get from four uh, to four. Sorry, get from three to four. 
That means that feature development happens in four. This has been a problem for us. We keep coming back to three to do all these things in three, to keep three going, uh, fixing security fixes, which we had to do, uh, Visual Studio 2017, because, well, at least that's what we said we were going to do. Um, we've done those things. We're not going to be doing mm, features in uh, three. Uh, so we're going to basically close them and redirect them to say, hey, put this in the 4 repository. Um, I would like to say the same thing about bugs, but bugs are harder, so we'll do them on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, still with the idea that 3.14 is going to get you to 4, not 3.14 is the next stable release of 3.11, but there may be some bugs that we fix that help make it easier uh, for people to move forward from 3.11 and hold tight for a little bit as 4.0 stabilizes. So it's going to kind of have a little bit of that in the middle, um, and we'll just see what we take on a case-by-case -case basis, mostly because you know, if someone does the work to fix a bug and it's really blocking them, it's a little bit harsh to say you're just kind of screwed until we have 4.0 done for you and you have to move 3.14. Um, but again, we'll do them on a case-by-case -case basis. Which means, those of you that aren't listening to this but should be, if you're opening bugs and we may close things and say, yeah, we're not really interested in this, you may have to come back and fight to have your bug and make a good case that this really should be in 3.14 because um, generally we're going to take a pretty critical eye to it. Um, of course, bug fixes in 4.0 will be taken readily. So let's talk about what 4 is. If everybody's clear on 3.14, it's basically, as Bob said, a stepping stone to 4.0. That's its purpose. That's what we will make it. And that's uh, what it will be at the time when 4.0 ships. So what's 4? Well, 4 we need to stabilize. We've, we've, it's been neglected for a long time because we kept getting sucked back into 3 problems, which is why I'm taking, trying to take a harder stance on 3.14 is that we really just need to move the 4. So we need to stabilize it. Um, given that we haven't looked at it in so long and we haven't done a lot of work in it, I'm not even sure that we can say that we have all the features we want. Um, but I kind of want to put a line in the sand, because we need to, somewhere that says, let's go feature complete end of year. I don't have a better timeline. That seems like a good one right now. Um, it feels a little bit, three months feels too fast. Um, end of year feels like a nice kind of halfway point to kind of go, okay, here we are. Here's what's working, here's what's in four, um, and we'll go from there. So one of the big questions I have for the people here and the people that follow along later if they want to follow up on Wix devs is when we go from uh, knowing that 3.14 isn't intent to take any bugs, do we mass assign all 3x bugs to 4x? Um, I, I hate to say it, but I think we kind of need to take very fast triage path. Right, I'm not doing that without John. <laughs> <laughs> Completely fair. Yeah, not, not saying today. Not saying today. Um, but you know, we took a lot of we took a lot of bugs in, in 3x where we just said, okay, sure, 3x. Anyone can do it. Um, and and a lot of that is still true. Um, but I think this is a good opportunity for us to. Uh, to you know, to take a look and and tag things, um, you know, like if you look at, at some of the the repositories um, in .NET, for example, uh, a lot of tagging used to describe things that are, you know, uh, they have multiple levels of meh. Uh, we have suspend, uh -huh. um, and, and they kind of have multiple levels of it. Um, I'd like us to take some time, and again, this is not a, you know, it does not have to be a a, a triage like we did a couple of years ago. Um, but I think this is a good opportunity for us to, to you know, set expectations. Carrying forward a couple hundred bugs is just not, um, it makes it really hard to look at the bugs and say, oh, you know, this is something I should be working on. Okay. So I would like to propose then that you or somebody like you uh, put together something for the next meeting that kind of says, here are tags that I've seen in other repros that I think we could apply sure. to. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. It wasn't nearly as bad as you thought it was going to be, was it? Um, well, basically, <laughs> I'm still volunteering for something. But. Yeah, uh, basically, educate us on you know what you might, if you've looked at those, because I haven't spent a lot of time uh, looking at .NET repo. Um, in, in what they're doing there, and I do know they were doing a lot to try to deal with the influx of bugs at all levels of 
complexity. Um, yeah, and they have thousands. I mean, yeah. You know, so, so. Well, and they uh, also have a team of I don't know. 50, yes, exactly. Hundred, I know, less than a hundred, uh, but more than more than three, four. <laughs> right. Five. So anyway, uh, somewhere in there, um, sounds like a good thing. Uh, it'd be great. Just go look at them. Come back and say, here's what you think might work for us. I can and do that. Then, and then from there, with that concepts of different levels of what we're going to do, we can decide how we want to go about breaking down the bugs um, from 3x to 4x. Yeah, I think uh, it, one thing that we've kind of lost in in GitHub issues is the the idea of of priority and severity. And I I hate you know how some of those are. Uh, uh, you tend to get bogged down in conversations like that, and I don't want to go there. But you know, let's face it, there are bugs that are are serious enough to be interesting to someone who you know is looking to make works better. Yeah, okay. And right now, th those are hard to find. Right. So, so it's basically we may tag things and close them just to move them out. But if you we tag them, so yeah. then you can at least say, "Oh no, I want to go dig that out." Right. Okie dokie, sounds fine to me. We'll meet in two weeks on with a, uh, and we will be educated on what options are might be good for us, and then we'll decide how we want to move forward from there. Cool, sounds good to me. All right, so not very specific plans of four, um, but I think we're just going to have to start getting you know more hardcore about yeah, we're just not doing things in three, so we're just we need to go focus on four. Well, and, and I'm I'm in complete agreement. You know, I think we can only have Sean do cherry picking so many more times before he just you know just stops, freaks out, and, yeah. and, and starts beating people up. Um, so it, 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 it's it's a diversion, and yep. you know, I think we need to focus. And actually, the you know a target like end of year is also a good thing. It's like okay, we're not going to you know rewrite burn, for example. Six months, so yeah. it's it's focusing, and I think that's what Wix four needs. Yeah, and one of the questions that we'll have to bring forward is: Are we going to do the repository split in four? Good question. So we have things to talk about, but uh, yep. not today. I kind of wanted to put three eleven in the rearview mirror, make it clear what three fourteen was, so that people would know what we're doing there, and that we are moving to four, and that is where our focus will be, and we will solidify this plan. So. Moving along, let's go ahead and do triage and a uh, PR review um, that maybe we don't have all the tools we need, but we have some of them. So let's go look at what we have out there and where we're going to put them. Um, the answer is not going to be three <laughs> for much longer. Fortunately, most of our bugs are uh, closed, and the one that's interesting here is probably the most interesting bug we will get that probably has interesting discussion. Um, setup failed when I used a per-user MSI with burn and .NET Framework, I, yeah, this was just a question that I was like, cool, go ask elsewhere. So I think we can resolve this as support or label as support. Then come back here. I'm going to go, I'm going to skip this one because I think that's the one we're going to talk about the most, just because I want to get these other ones out of the way. I'll feel better about them. Um, AVG has recently decided to flag um, uh, this version of Wix 3.10.3 which has been out for a long time as malware uh, or virus or whatever. Um, so I attempted to submit their false positive thing um, and then their form failed um, <laughs> that said some file was full, which was very encouraging. Oh. Right. Um, but I also said that, you know, it works better when it comes from customers and I'm not a customer of AVG. So I suggested that they go do that. So um, why don't we resolve this to support and anybody that is having problems with AVG, feel free to click on this link and go put your name behind submitting this until the point at which it works because you know, nothing changed in 3.10.3 since uh, we released it. Cool. Cool? Cool. External. Whoa. Wait, did these just come in? Now I'm confused. Is issue no label? That was weird. All right. The back button did not do what I expected it to do. <laughs> I was like, how do we get so many more bugs? Um, this is interesting. person says they downloaded the extension from Visual Studio, uh, from Visual Studio Marketplace, attempted to install it. It did not work. Um, it's not installed with any currently installed products. And then he went into the extension manager, and it worked. 
Um, I'm inclined we should resolve this external and maybe put in the comment that says, hey, go um, contact Visual Studio and say, hey, that's weird, because it should work. Right. Yeah, I'm wondering if the uh, um, the file type association for v6s wasn't correctly set up and it was trying to run an old, it was trying to run the v6 installer from, from dev 14. Maybe. Hard to tell. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, uh, they were able to do it through the extension manager, which honestly is a better experience anyway. So, um, yay. All right, cool. More, so More clicking. Uh, is it? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Um, someone said, please provide support for, you know, .NET 4.7. And then someone said, hey, I copied all this stuff and did that. So rather than submit a pull request against 4, they're just going to go off and copy it themselves. Thank you for contributing, people. We really appreciate you. Um, that's sarcasm. Um, but the answer is, we would take this in 4 for sure. Would we take the 4.7.NET framework for 3? Into the 3.14. Uh, it's not a bug. It's a feature. It's mm -hmm. a tiny feature. Mm -hmm. And it's a tiny feature that flows pretty well, right? You, you have to update namespaces to be, you know, for v3 or v4, but the structure of the NetFX extension has not changed in 4. Correct. So it comes over easily. Right. Um, the, the downside to this is all about what 3.14 is about. Um, we're going to start breaking people. And that's something that you know we haven't done and people aren't used to. So I'm a little concerned with putting it in 3.14 and saying, oh, there it is, um, if someone can't easily pick up 3.14 because it's, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's not compatible. By design. Um, but I probably would say we should take it. Right. Probably. But it's one of those I, I feel I feel you know I feel Sean? bad. <laughs> Bob's waffling. I am completely waffling. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it's hard. the exact same thing. <laughs> uh, the other thing is, you know, there's a workaround, and it's pasted it right in here. Mm -hmm. So, also, you know, the other thing is that there are a lot of people who um, take, um, you know, who, who tweak the NetFX offering anyway, right? Like, one thing we haven't done is provided a simple way um, of of doing a packaged redistributable, mm -hmm. right? The NetFX extension authoring always uses remote payloads. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will cut and paste anyway. So I am more and more thinking that we should not put it in 3.14. Great. Four. Yeah. Yeah, there's an easy workaround, right? I mean, the, I, this is the kind of thing we would look at for, for bugs and features. It's like Even if it's not an easy workaround, it's like, yeah, you'll have to do work. We're not doing work in 3.14. 314 yeah. isn't a place for features. It'll go in four. Yep. Yep. Okay. And that should take care of all of our issues. Whenever that gets refreshed. Cool. Let's go talk about um, prerequisites. Um, we already said we weren't going to take these um, RU, uh, the, the sorry, the language stuff in 314. Um, this is a typo. Is it really a typo in the message? Fine. That's a typo. Um, I'm inclined not to take that in three, um, but might do the work to bring it over four for them. Um, yep. And then prevent repairing .NET prerequisite package 314. It looks like Bob already put it here. I think at a previous meeting. Ah, interesting. Uh, because it's a bug fix. This is a bug fix to our own install. Um, that's correct, yes. I'm, 
I'm okay taking fixes to our own install, I guess, because um, 14 will have fixes to our own install if we need to do that. Um, thoughts? Anybody? I think that's fine. Yeah, I mean, fixes to our own install, I'm okay taking that. <laughs> In three, four, Although, four. it exhibits the same problem, you know, that we have, which is, you know, this has to get done in two branches, so. Um, true, it does. It, it, it doesn't solve that. No. No, but we're going to have that problem as long as people keep opening stuff in three, so. Well, we're going to have that problem if people open pull requests. Right. Um, we need to change the contributing MD on three to at least say, yeah. don't send pull requests here anymore. Yep, yep, that was it's, on my, my list. Nobody reads that because it's not actually displayed inside GitHub. It displays a link, but at least we can point to it and say, you need to read this. Um, well, there's a pull request template. Oh, is but there? You have to, you're probably, you've probably already done the work if you're opening a pull request, so... We should we should do both. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, you okay with that, Bob? You got that? Sure. All right. Cool. So I, I'm fine if we say we're not going to take the prevent repairing of .NET Prerex package. I'm also fine if we take it for because it fixes our own setup. And three four. Uh, it should definitely go into four. Um, if it goes into three fourteen. Uh, eh, okay. Um, it it was feature at some point, maybe it worked. Um, I don't know when it stopped working. Um, I don't know how often people repair Wix. Yep. Yeah. At a certain point, it's like, you know, how much time do you want to spend arguing it, arguing about it rather than just, you know, doing it. Doing it. Yep. All right. So uh, I'll go either way. Sean, Jacob, you guys have a, Jacob gave a plus one, but I lost the context on it. Um, Sean, you have an opinion? Yeah, I think we four. should take it. Okay. But I'm not really interested in cherry picking anymore, so. <laughs> See? Uh, I would say it requires a pull request in four before you can merge a pull request in three. Okay. I think that's fine. Let's do that too. Let's put that comment. Let's just, we need to get that in our templates and let's just get used to putting that in all things in three. Uh, we should also update the website, yeah. the development pages. Probably. All right, cool. Um, let's not lose that work item, Bob. So Writing it down. Thank you. All right, uh, that's it. That's all the issues we have for this week. Let's go back to questions, comments, things people want to talk about now. I don't know if you brought anything with you, Jacob. Um, uh, we're moving. I don't have an exact timeline on getting 314 up and running. Um, I do want to get it, but I also have a lot of things right now that after, since I had to pull some time to get 311, I need to go catch up on some stuff or, and then come back and do 314, but um, I'll get that going in a not too distant future. Um, yeah, is there a rush? I mean, is, mm -hmm. 314 is the kind of thing that really we need once we can say, hey, look, start using 4. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. It's not a huge rush. It's just I want to get you know, done with it. It's just a bunch of, you know, change version numbers, juggle, 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 do all yeah, that stuff, yeah. declare victory, move on. Uh, did you take care of Master Branch? Yes, Master Branch is okay. updated. One of the advantages of using GitHub releases now is um, uh, you need to have a tag to associate the release to to have it look all pretty, and that tag is on Master. Oh, nice. Cool. So, it worked out well. Uh, anything else people want to talk about? stuff going on. Pretty quiet? All right. So I think we have a pretty clear idea of what we need to be doing. Uh, most of it's finishing four, uh, which I really do believe is fairly straightforward. It's basically just do work that we have now and get to the other side kind of thing. Yep. So on that note, uh, go forth and write code in four. Um, if you're writing code in three, stop. Go write code in four. Um, if you're not writing code in four, Consider writing code in four and help us get done by the end of the year um, and do good stuff there. Um, so on that note, until next two weeks, you guys all take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.